SQL injection less than 4. Cookies based SQL injection with WAF bypass. Note this video is only for educational purpose. Before proceeding please do watch previous three lessons, so that you don't face any difficulty understanding this lesson. For this lesson we will be requiring two Firefox plugins, 1. Hackbar, which I have used in my previous videos. 2. Cookies Manager Plus. As always first we will start by checking if the site is vulnerable to SQLI injection or not. To check just simply add single quote and end of URL and press enter. If site shows an error or hide some data that means the site is vulnerable, as you can see here the site is showing a SQL error. Now let's find total number of columns by adding order by 100 dash plus after single quote, double dash are used to comment out the query. Oops, it shows an error, this is not SQL error instead it shows that query input is forbidden. Now we need to use cookie based injection. Next we will open Cookies Manager, note please don't close the website or Cookie Manager until SQL injection is finished. Change date to any random date. Now rest of the process is similar to what we learned in first and second lesson. Ok so total number for columns is 22 as we got error on 23. After finding total number of columns we will find vulnerable columns using union method from lesson 1. It is again showing forbidden error this time due to WAF, web application firewall. But we don't need to worry as we have already learned how to bypass WAF. If you don't know how to bypass SWAF you can watch my lesson 2 links will be in description below. Due to insufficient free space website is not printing vulnerable columns, therefore we will add dash before content number. With the help dash we can hide content on website by doing this it will create free space to print column number. Here are vulnerable columns, 6, 7, 19, 14. Now we will fetch all the data using column number 6, 7, 19 and 14. In this step we will find database name and version number.
As you can see we have found database name and version. Let's proceed to find table names in database. Again firewall is blocking some of my statement like group underscore concat. To bypass we will add. I have a WAF bypass secret that works 100% on every WAF so I use this. We will print table names in column 6. Here are all tables now you can fetch data from any table which you want. If you don't know how to fetch data then watch my lesson 1 and lesson 2. I have started new course on complete ethical hacking using Kali Linux for beginners, make sure to check that out. I next lesson we will learn SQL injection with redirects. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos on ethical hacking and pen testing. If you have any query or suggestions for videos comment below.